Hi, my name is Olivia Halsey and I'm from Greenwich, Connecticut and the title of my project is Temperature Independent and Rapid Test for Ebola. And I was fascinated how Ebola targets a village and then grows exponentially within that village and just destroys the fabric of it. So um, I began looking at how we could slow the outbreaks and control them more and then I found the best way to do that is through asymptomatic diagnosis diagnosis. So you diagnose the person before they're able to spread it to other people. And the current most reliable method is an ELISA kit. And basically what it is, it's a pile of reagents on top of each other. Um, and a color, chain in, color change indicates the um, presence of the target antigen. The most glaring problem I saw with the ELISA kit was the temperature dependency. I wanted to address this problem. I wanted to make the ELISA kit temperature independent. So I um, was able to get an ELISA kit and the traditional way of using it is with water as the dilutant, but instead I ran it with um, silk fibrin as the dilutant because silk fibrin is just like water, it's a little thicker, but um, it's similar. So first I had to show that it would work. Um, so from there, that's really when I learned about the ELISA kit and I learned about the reaction and just how it was a piling of reagents on top of each other. So that's when I started looking into lateral flow because if all you needed was a piling of these reagents on top of each other, I didn't understand why it had to be done on a well plate with manually piping on top of each other. So um, from there, I began designing the current card. So it looks like a cross, and each section um, has the fibroin encased with the corresponding reagent. So the result of this, um, all the aid worker would have to do would be pipe 30 microliters of water onto each load spot and the center detection zone would indicate a positive result with a blue color change within 30 minutes. It's temperature stable. Um, you don't need to be in a lab. All you need is water in the sample. You don't need the reagents anymore. And it's cheap because I actually ended up making the Ebola assay card of just filter paper on top of photo paper. So it's exciting that it, since I, it's based on the ELISA chemistry, it can also be applied to every other ELISA kit. So it could be a home test for HIV. It could be a home test for Lyme. Um, so I want it to really just be a rapid, inexpensive diagnostic tool. In the future, this will be able to affect anyone that um, needs a diagnosis for whatever they may be.